Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know, where the F have I been? Okay, me going MIA this time was not intentional like it was every other time I've gone missing in action on YouTube. I just ended up traveling way more than I thought I would be in the month of April. Also, my grandmother is currently in the hospital, which has been taking up a little bit of time. Um, we found out recently that she has leukemia. She's having a really hard time keeping her hemoglobin levels at a normal number. Um, so it keeps dropping really low and she was in the hospital for about a week. She came home for a week, um, but unfortunately she is currently back in the hospital right now. So if you guys could please send good vibes to me and my family, it would be much appreciated. Um, yeah, I took her a book yesterday, so she said that's kind of helping a little bit. Um, so we're just hoping for the best. Currently, she is stable. They have her blood at a normal rate. Um, and the next step I think they're going to have to do is remove her spleen, because apparently that will help regulate her blood a lot. But then she just has to be super careful, because when you lose your spleen, you are super susceptible to getting sick. Um, so she probably can't be leaving the house a lot after that, we've heard. Like I said, I don't really know a lot of like what is really wrong with her, um, but I've been trying to research more. So um, I canceled all my trips in the month of May so that I could be here, be back on YouTube, be there for my mom and my grandma and for you guys. Um, so this is going to just be a get ready chit chat with me. Wait, is that right? Yeah, get ready to chat with me so we can just do like a little life catch up. Um, I did lose my vlog camera, so that's why the vlogs have been MIA as well as me. I lost it when I went to Malibu with Tatcha, which was like a few weeks ago. Um, I don't know where it went, clearly. Um, the good thing is, is I do still have an SD card that has some footage on it, I think. I'm not even sure, but I'm gonna insert clips into this video. I haven't even looked at the footage, so hopefully I'll be inserting clips into this video. Um, I have a new one on order. But the one that I was using to vlog with is like my old vlog camera and it kind of just like malfunctions a lot, so yeah. But if I have any good footage, I'll insert it while we are chit-chatting. So let me start getting ready while we chit-chat instead of just chit-chatting and not getting ready and then having nothing to talk about while I do my makeup. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Oh God, what's going on? My legs are so sore. Oh, also I have gray hair. I don't, we'll talk about that too. What's this on my eye? And look, I kind of have like semi-normal nails for a chance. All right, let's flip this hair out of the way. No makeup tutorial is complete without the puffs. A sip of water. So let me try to think what the hell has been going on. For, wait, let me eat a Skittle first. I had a coffee, so I'm a little bit... Uh, have you tried these Skittles? These are fire. Okay, so let's moisturize the face. My face has been super dry because I have been traveling a lot. Um, the majority of stuff that we're gonna use in today's video too is going to be new products or things that maybe I've only used one time. But I'm gonna try to stick to what just, I'm gonna try to stick to just products that are new that I have never tried um, because there's a lot of them. Oh, also, before we get into it, I am going to be giving away, let's see, how many do I have left? I have like 13 left or something. So I'm gonna give away five boxes here on YouTube on this video. So if you guys are unaware of what I'm talking about, you wanna be following me on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, just make an Instagram, okay? Make an Instagram, follow me on there as well. So I put together these mystery boxes just full of all the PR package stuff that I get. I broke them down into like 25 boxes. I've already given some away on Instagram and I wanna give some away to you guys here. So I'm gonna give five boxes away. It basically is just like 12 to 15 pounds of makeup. I'm not sure of the colors or what's in it, like I said, it is a mystery box, so if you want to be entered to win one of the mystery boxes, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and if you're comfortable, please leave your email address in the comment section as well, because it is really hard to get a hold of you guys on YouTube. Like last time I did the crystal giveaway, I had to search high and low. For some reason, I couldn't find a message button to message you guys via YouTube, so I was on a scavenger hunt trying to find your guys' emails last time. So if you are comfortable with leaving your email address, I would super appreciate it. If not, I will pull out my FBI skills and find your email address. There's a giveaway happening in this video, mystery boxes, five of them. Leave a comment, be subscribed, that's it. Oh, like the video too. Why not? Throw a like in there. <laughs> okay, back to the video. I feel like we've been talking for like 10 minutes already. So my face has been super duper dry um, because I've been just doing a lot of traveling. So I'm gonna use this Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve. 
uh, as my moisturizer today. Usually, you know, I am a Tatcha water cream junkie. I'm not even sure how much of this I'm supposed to be putting on, but like I said, my skin has been dry, okay? It's been pretty good with like its breakouts and stuff, but it definitely has been more on the dry side. So we're just going to work this in and I'm trying to think of like what I've been doing. Like everything just seems to be like such a blur. So let's start at the beginning of the month, April 1st. What was that? That was Easter. We didn't do too much. We just went to Jeremy's mom's house um, to see his niece who is four. Her name is Evelyn. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I refer to her as the bean. Um, so we went over there and just had Easter and then I feel like we left. And is that when I went to Tatcha? This actually feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy or too thick. So I feel like this would be a great moisturizer to use underneath your makeup. I am gonna let that sink in for a second though. I'm gonna moisturize my lips as well. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And this is in a new shade, which is lavender, which I believe used to only be available in Canada, but it is available now. I feel like it's a lot easier to squeeze out of the tube than it used to. You're technically supposed to wear this lip mask at night, but I like to wear it before I put on my makeup. So like I said, I lost my vlog camera from the time I got to the airport to the time I got on the plane when we were going to Malibu with Tatcha. Speaking of Tatcha, I am going to use the Silk Canvas Primer. And usually, uh, I think you guys know that it comes with like a little scoop. I haven't been using a little scoop. I've been using just my fingers like this and kind of working it into the skin like this. So I lost my vlog camera and we just went to Malibu for like two days with Tatcha, just as a kind of like a little gratitude retreat. It was really relaxing. It was right on the water. Like I felt like I was on a cruise ship because that's how close we were to the ocean. It's right next to Nobu Malibu. Like Nobu actually has like a hotel. If you ever have a chance to go to that hotel, go to it. It's so relaxing and just so zen. We did like a class that like taught us about crystals well like taught other people about crystals <laughs> um which was really cool we got to do like meditation classes with a monk that's like a 24th generation monk um during the crystal class we also got to make our own crystal beaded bracelet so mine is jade and amethyst this one beebs got me what is going on here like am i breaking out in a rash right now what's got what's happening hmm. all right so there are a couple new foundations that i want to try and i just don't know which one I think I want to try the new Dior Undercover Full Coverage Foundation. What is going on? I feel, I hope that I'm not having like an allergic reaction to something. Mm. It was my first time trying this fresh youth preserve, but we're just gonna, it doesn't itch or anything. Hopefully one of these colors, we're gonna go with 20. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to apply this. Like what? Oh. Oh, this is full coverage. 24 hour full coverage foundation, fresh light. What? Weightless, <laughs> weightless foundation. I'm gonna go with what I know. I'm gonna go with my beauty blender. It doesn't feel weightless. It feels like it's thick in there. And I'm just gonna squirt some of this on the back of my beauty blender. I'm not sure how much I should be using here. And we're gonna, is this too light? This seems a little. That might be too light for me. Is this too light for me? Or can I make this work? No, that's too light for me. <laughs> Let's try 25. <laughs> okay, 25 is better. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm just, I still feel like I don't know the right amount that I should be using here. So I know I touched on my grandma a little bit in the uh, beginning of the video and I think I just tweeted the day that I found out that my grandma, like that she had leukemia, like I just tweeted it cause I was like, didn't know what else to do. I rarely like tweet like personal shit like that, but so many of you like just said so many kind words. So if you were one that tweeted me, I just want to say thank you guys for that because it was really like encouraging. My grandma is 77. She'll be 78 this year in November. She's a Scorpio. <laughs> and she's never been sick in her whole entire life. This is the first time I've ever seen her 
not moving around like she was super active her and my mom live together and my mom has seven cats and she's always taking care of them and the dogs and she's like always out in the garden or doing something so it's just really weird like weird to see her in the hospital but I'm just trying to keep a positive mind with everything, so I just want to say thank you guys because, like I said, a lot of your tweets were just very encouraging and very sweet, so I appreciate it very much. Um, we're going to move on to our brows, right? Right? Is that what we're going to do? So I feel like this foundation is actually a little bit matte, more matte than I appreciate. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how it finishes and with setting spray and like all that good stuff. Um, so I'm gonna do my brows real quick and uh, just insert some vlog footage. Not sure what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be some vlog footage. When your snaps don't work, got it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! so dark eyebrows I'm well aware of that fact okay but did you see my natural brows they dark what am I looking for you're looking for concealer yes I am hello are you happy that mom is home are you happy that your mom is home oh, mama boy look at that face I think I'm going to use the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie. So this is what the palette looks like. I think I'm going to use a few of these shades for like my crease color. Because I want to use one of the Jennifer Lopez, what are these, pure pigment eyeshadows. I want to use one of these like all over Z lid. Um, and I like the shades Streaky and Butt Naked in this palette. I want like a fluffy brush. Do you like this? No, I don't like that. I like this. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna start first with the shade Streaking. So I was in LA about a week ago. I went for the Milk Makeup launch and then I knew that I was going to Vegas right after that. The Milk Makeup launch was for their new mascara. I believe it's called Kush Mascara. And the reason that they use uh, CBD oil in it is because they wanted to make it vegan. So by removing the beeswax that a lot of mascaras have, they replaced it with, I believe, CBD oil, uh, which now they have a vegan mascara. Anyways, uh, the launch for that was the day before I was supposed to leave to go to Vegas. So I flew out there early because Stephanie, who used to work for Benefit, works for Milk Makeup now and she's just the homie. So I wanted to go support. So that's why I was in LA for legit like 24 hours and then just went to Vegas from there. So I'm going to work this shade, which is called Streaking. I'm going to buff this into my crease. Story time, you ready? So uh, a few years ago, my Instagram account got hacked, and that's how I met my current manager. I'm still working with the shade Streaking. I'm just kind of buffing and building this into the crease. My uh, Instagram got hacked a couple of years ago, and I just felt since it got hacked, it was just never the same. Like, I felt like my growth kind of just stopped, and I just kind of plateaued on Instagram. And uh, I just never knew why. So the impressions were really good, the interaction was really good, and I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna let it live. Maybe people just don't like me anymore. But I just kept my Instagram account. Recently, just found out that my account has been shadow banned on the gram. If you don't know what shadow ban means, it basically means unless you're following me on Instagram, nobody can see me. Like usually people will be on the popular page and like I said, because I can see insights on my pictures and stuff, it should say from explore, meaning like if you're not following me, you could see me on the explore page. No, you can't. If I use a hashtag, you can't see me. Basically, you can only see me if you're following me. 
fun, right? Um, and really the only way to kind of get unshadow banned, we're taking a meeting with Instagram and hopefully we can kind of figure this out and see why my account got shadow banned. I looked, I, I, was, I was looking it up when I realized that I was, and it said either you're posting infrequently, you're posting too much, you're commenting too much, and I'm just like, why would they ever do this to somebody? Why, Instagram, would you ever do that to somebody? And a lot of people were saying the only way to really fix being shadow banned is to just delete your count, is just to delete your count and start all over. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Hopefully we can get that situated because that's fun because even though it's just like Instagram it still like would be discouraging when you're just like sitting at the same number for 18 million years and you're just like great great but then you look at your insights and you see like your interaction and your impressions and your likes and stuff and those are all still really good and you're just like it can happen to anyone too apparently so if you feel like your account's just been like stuck Maybe check to see if you're shadow banned. So one is if you have a verified account, you can see your insights. And two, if you turn your account into a business account, you can then see your insights. And at the top, there should be like a little bar graph situation and you can click on that. And then at the bottom, you can see like your impressions and it'll say like, my number will usually be like in the millions and it'll be like 1% of that number we're not following you when really that number should be like 40 50 percent but it's not and also it should say from explore and if it doesn't then congratulations you're shadow banned like me i'm just gonna eat my feelings i'm gonna take this buck naked but naked shade as well on a smaller brush on like a littler brush like this and start to focus this in my crease as well I always like to start in the middle of my eyes, so that's where the most amount of pigment goes. Because uh, sometimes when I would like start on the outside of my eye, I would place just a little bit too much product out there. So by starting in the middle, it really kind of helps. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not doing like windshield wipers. I'm doing like little tiny circles on my eye and I'm trying not to use a lot of pressure. I'm trying to be more light-handed with my makeup application, especially on my eyes. Um, 2018, I decided that I wanted to kind of hone in on my makeup skills and really start to practice and just do more with it. Um, so the Glam Master kind of series will be back, which just kind of challenges my cre creativity. But with eyeshadow and stuff, I just wanted to start doing more because I felt like I just would always get lazy with eyeshadow just because for me, it takes a long time because I just want to blend this shit forever. So I just kind of got in the habit of doing really easy, natural eyes. I'm using that same big fluffy brush. I'm picking up a little bit more of streaking and just kind of buffing that on top. Um, and this year, I just wanted to kind of just challenge myself and just take my time and do my eye makeup. Like, what else we doing, girl? I just have a little bit. Like, I pick up just the smallest amount of product um, because I... I I know you guys have probably heard me say this a million times, but it's a lot easier to add product than it is to remove product. So just work with a little bit of shadow at a time. You don't want to get anything too heavy just in case <clears throat> you end up not liking it. So now that I've got in, what, four new tattoos in the past couple of months, all I want is more. More tattoos. I think the initial tattoo that I got when I was 18 just scarred me so bad because one, the tattoo artist was mean. <laughs> Two, it hurt so much because it was my first tattoo um, that it just kind of prevented me from getting more tattoos, but I've always enjoyed them. I wish that there was like ink that kind of disappeared so I could have like a full sleeve, but then like in a couple years it would be gone because I would never get something like huge. I just like really tiny tattoos. Um, so I have another tattoo in mind and it's going to be right here. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet though. <laughs> um, but hopefully like my mom and shit will go with me and get one. A lot of people have been asking me too, like, oh, you look different, uh, what have you had done to your face? And I'm just like, what? So the only thing that I've ever done, like, filler-wise to my face is have filler underneath my eyes. I have a little bit of Botox, like, right in here, because this thing is, like, deep. Um, but other than that, this is my face. <laughs> I still want to get my lips done, I go back and forth with it, but I might just stick with these lips. <laughs> I kind of want to get Cabela, which is like a little, you get like injections right here and it kind of dissolves like your little fat. Cause this, I uh, was reading like, it doesn't matter like how much you exercise, like once you get like this guy going, there's really no going back. Somebody told me to just lipo it out cause it'd be like a lot easier than Kybella. Cause I guess you have to give like a bunch of Kybella treatments, but I'm still on the fence. Like anything that I have to be put to sleep for scares me. 
surgery wise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just have under eye filler, which I haven't gotten in a really, 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 really long time. Like at least probably two years, right? One, two, yeah, at least two years since I've gotten under eye filler. Uh, yeah, May will be two years that we've lived in this house and it's been longer than that. So it does last a really long time. I probably had under eye filler done three times. If you look back at older videos, you can actually see like how hollow my under eyes were. So I'm laying those two shades and I think I'm gonna cut it with this silver dollar. Even though it doesn't look silver, it looks like it has like this like pinky iridescent to it. I think this is the shade that I am going to go with. So we're gonna do a little like half cut crease because you know, I'm really into that. I just think it looks like super clean. And for me, because I do have a little bit of a hooded eye, and for people that say I don't have a hooded eye, like maybe when I go like this, it doesn't look like it, but if I'm relaxed, this top skin is definitely covering my crease, like it's, it's hanging over. So I'm going to use this P. Louise base. If you guys do not know the P. Louise Academy on Instagram, you are missing out on life. It is very dramatic makeup. They're from the UK, but it is so inspiring. Like the makeup that they do is so flawless. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, mm -hmm. so uh, I've been using this base for a while. I believe this is the original one, um, but I think she does have more colors now. And I'm going to take a flat brush like this, pick up some products, and I'm going to do my little eye trick. So we're going to put some of this right on our lid and then look up. And then wherever it hits, that's where I know my marker is. And we're going to cut our crease. to just give it a good pat to just kind of set it. And you don't want this to be like super creamy and like liquidy-esque when you put your, whatever you're putting on top. You can put a shadow, pigment. I'm just gonna use a pigment today. Like I said, I'm going to use this Pure Pigment from the JLo Inglot Collab. As you can see, it look, looks like it has a little bit of a pink vibe to it, but it's definitely more on the silver side. And we're gonna put this right on top of our base. And if you guys don't know, I was just in Vegas with Inglot to kind of celebrate the launch of the JLo Times Inglot collab. I actually got to meet Jennifer Lopez, like be in the same room with her. Not even the same room, like, it's okay, there's pigment getting everywhere, it's all over my eye. Not even the same room with her, like in her actual personal dressing room. We had like an after party up there because we went to go see her All I Have show, which I'm pretty sure was the last one. She's taking like a little break. I think only for like six weeks or so. Um, but yeah, we got to actually like hang out with her and vibe with her and I was just like this close to her. Like we were just having like a conversation, just nonchalant, me and JLo chatting it up. And I don't know if you guys know this, I'm still just kind of working this pigment. I wanna get it like right on the tip of my brush so I can get it right up to that line. So one second, please. So I will say about this JLo pigment, I feel like it would be better suited to use this with your fingers, but since I got like 47 inch claws, I can't really get my finger or, oh, maybe I could. Yeah, if you use your finger, you definitely have an easier time with this. I also don't know if you guys remember or if you've even been following me for this long or not, but like in 2015, when I had like blondish ish hair, I did a JLo like hair tutorial and she ended up retweeting it and tweeting me, following me on Twitter and following me on Instagram. Um, and the whole time everyone's like, tell her she follows you, tell her. I'm like, I'm not telling Jennifer Lopez anything, okay? I am not. Um, so right when we were getting ready to leave, Alyssa was actually like, you know, you follow her on Instagram, right? And she's like, yeah, I thought you looked familiar. You're from Florida, right? I was just like, the queen knows where I live. Like, it was just so freaking surreal. She was so cool, you guys. Like, like, super cool. Her mom was right next to us. Like, her mom, Lupe, was sitting right next to us uh, when we were watching her show. 
Her mom is like a 76 year old woman and she was out there dancing non-stop. She was definitely living her best life at her daughter's concert. I'm gonna go back in to the Nudie Patootie palette and I'm gonna pick up a more flat shader brush. Again, little guy, and I'm gonna go in first with the shade Butt Naked and kind of focus this on the outer corner. I'm gonna take the other side of that brush and pick up a little bit of streaking and kind of add that on top of that and mesh the two together. I have pigment all over my face. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna wear my Eyler lashes because I haven't worn lashes in a really long time because I had this lash lift happening and I will say, lash lift is cool and all, but if you wanna wear lashes, it is so hard to put your lashes on when your lashes are lifted. And if this is the first time you are seeing these lashes, these are from my collab with Eyler. This is my Faux Flawless set, which is probably my favorite of all three lashes. Like it, you gotta pick a favorite, right? So this is definitely my favorite. It feels so weird when I like, throw myself in the garbage. I'm just like, all right, bye, girl. I then like to go over the lash with a liquid liner, just kind of disguise the lash band. Okay. The reason that these lashes are like one of my favorite pairs of lashes is because I feel like you get like a lot of length and volume from these lashes, but they're also not a lash that's going to cover up completely the work that you just spent doing your eyeshadow. It took me a second to realize what I wanted to say, but I got it together. Um, Cause I feel like sometimes when I put on a false lash that it just completely takes away from the eyeshadow. So I've gotten now to where I know, all right, I know I'm gonna do a look where I'm gonna need my lash to cover my eye completely. Cause I'm not gonna do a lot of eyeshadow, but I feel like when I spend a lot of time on my look, I like to wear a lash that kind of displays all that. And this lash kind of gives me the best of all worlds in one lash. I also added a little bit, I'm sorry I didn't realize the camera wasn't recording, but I also added a little bit of Nakey Nakey, which is just a darker brown shade. And above that a little more. So what do we think of my natural-esque looking nails? Um, I just didn't have time to do crazy designs because the same day I got my nails and I had to go back to the hair salon for the second day um, to finish this hair, so Yes, the purple is gone and the gray is in. I also got new extensions put in. I'm currently wearing the great length hair extensions, which are like the individually bonded in hair extensions, which I think are a game changer. They're definitely more time consuming for installation purposes because um, they put them in one by one. But I think for like longevity, they're the best and the least damaging on your hair because I don't feel like a lot of weight pulling my hair. Like when I used to wash my hair with tape and extensions, it would be so heavy and with these it's like you don't even have extensions and they're so lightweight it's just a little uncomfortable the first couple of days because your head's a little sore because they're so close to your scalp but i think i've had them in for like three days now and it's getting a little easier to sleep moving on to concealer i'm going to try these new laura mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear concealers i think i'm going to use it in the shade 1c because 2c i like the more peachy tone that this 1c is giving off um, so we're gonna go with 1C. I currently have been using the KKW Beauty ones and I actually really like those concealers. Like I didn't want to, but they're pretty good. I haven't even used Tarte Shape Tape. Like who the f am I? So concealer is my favorite part. So I go a little bit of ham sandwich on it. Um, but if you are new to concealing and stuff like that, new to makeup in general, just uh, concealing in this like more triangle form is just going to help conceal dark circles. I'm looking for a brush to blend it out with. What can I blend it with? Mm hmm. Hmm. I feel like it's not, did it say it was full coverage? No, it just said Flawless Fusion. Okay, so it's definitely not a full coverage concealer. I might have to put a dab of something else on top though. So it's super easy to blend out, but I like a more full coverage concealer, especially if I have like a full coverage foundation on. I like my concealer to be equally as powerful. I do like this color, get that crisp, but I can still see kind of my bluish dark circles underneath, which I don't like that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the KKW Beauty Concealer 
and I'm just gonna put that here. This is in the shade five. A little bit added coverage. Hello. To set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use this new Hourglass Translucent Setting Band. What? So to set my concealer, I'm gonna use this new Hourglass Translucent Powder. Oh. Opa. So I'm just gonna tap this out one more time and look up and then hit my under eyes with this. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, that is. Could you did you see that different? Like look at doesn't the side look way smoother than this side? To me it does. Get a little bit more in there. So you can use, actually they gave me a brush with it. This is the brush that actually you're supposed to set it with, but it just looked too nice and new. Oh, this is beautiful. So you can use this translucent powder to set underneath your eyes as well as your entire face. Oh my God. I feel like companies are just stepping up so much with their translucent powders because before remember I just used to be locked and loaded on the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder I didn't even really like her translucent powder which a lot of people did um, but now I like so many different setting powders like I love the Mac Patrick star one the KKW beauty uh, one is actually really good but I think this one might be the best that I've used yeah that's really nice Again, this is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass. And yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a yes. I think I'm actually gonna set the rest of my face with this translucent powder uh, as well because why not? And I will use the brush that it comes with. I feel like this foundation probably doesn't need to be set, but I just feel like if I don't set my foundation before I put on like my bronzer blush situation that it just doesn't go on as smooth for me. Wow. I am here for this translucent powder. And this brush is so soft. For my bronzer, I'm going to use this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I feel like I should probably be using like chocolate because these bronzers are super duper pigmented and I originally thought that chocolate would be like a good mix for me, but I need to be very light handed with this bronzer. I have used it before, um, but it's still new to my routine. Um, so I'm, it smells really good too. So I'm just going to take this little brush right here and really tap off the excess because like I said, it this is a super pigmented bronzer and light handed just get into these hollows. You see what I mean? I didn't tap off my brush. We also took a masterclass with Scott Barnes, who, if you don't know who Scott Barnes is, he's basically like a legendary makeup artist. He's pretty much responsible for creating the JLo glow, and he said a place to never forget to contour is always like right here, just so you kind of cast that shadow underneath your jawline, and then he connects it up to your her contour. So I've been contouring this part of my face for, I don't know, ever. <laughs> but it was cool to hear him kind of say, don't forget that part of your face. I know it's like totally random, but they told us to just pick what we wanted at the Inglot store. So my little freedom palette kind of is all over the place. Clearly I was selling my purple vibes, um, but I'm going to use this blush. I'm just going to use a little bit because it looks like a pigmented ass blush and pop that on our cheeks. Hello? I don't know why my phone keeps going off so much. And if you ever feel like you put too much blush on, which happens to me all the time, you can just take like a large stippling brush and kind of just work it over. And it'll kind of take off like excess product and just make everything blend more seamlessly. We are getting places. We are getting places. 
Um, and I've been wondering, like, since I got my hair done, like, should I just go get these roots done and have them be, like, all gray? Or should I just leave the roots? Because then it just helps my eyebrows look not as dark. Because you can see my dark-ass hair, too. Today was my first day working out in, like, six months? I can barely sit down. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna do highlights, and what do I want to use for my highlight? I can't find the one that I want to use, but this one I feel like is super similar to it. These are from Inglot, and this is the Sparkling Dust Face, Eyes, and Body Illuminator. I wanted to use the Jennifer Lopez one. Um, I think it's called Living the Highlight, which is the one that I like. It's basically just a loose highlight like this, but who knows where they're at, girl? Who knows where they at? I'm also going to spray my face first. These are the new Fix Plus Pink Light, which they have a little bit of, I guess, shimmer to them. They come in pink and gold. Um, and I'm gonna give my face a little spray. Or, or a lot of spray. I'm gonna just pick this up on an Anastasia brush, and then we're gonna hit the high points with this. It's intense. So, tap off the excess, and then just Okay, my phone is being really annoying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it high. I'm not going to bring it like all the way down just because it's pretty intense. do some on my nose which that ends up disappearing so I don't even know why I do that and then I like to do some like just right in there I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow underneath the eyes by taking a little bit of butt naked and streaking just like a combo of these you guys know I don't like to do too much underneath the eye because it irritates me but I feel like we have a lot happening on top so we gotta kind of balance that out that's that I don't like. For my lower lash mascara, I'm gonna use the Jennifer Lopez Inglot. This is Viva Lost Lashes, I believe, and I really like this because it has a super tiny wand, which is perfect for getting the lower lashes. Most of the time I use a brush that's like ginormous and I get it all over my face because I have a lot of filler underneath my eyes. <laughs> um, so I like this brush because it's teeny tiny and you can just get in there without uh, fucking shit up can hit your top lashes. Run this through my brow hairs, just kind of lock them in place. And then for my lip, I'm basically just gonna do my signature lip because there's not like a lot of new lip liners happening as well as lipsticks. What I'm really into though is that everybody is on this gloss kick, which I'm here for. You guys know I'm not a matte lipstick girl, I'm a gloss girl. So uh, what consists of my signature lip is first stone lip liner. I don't know why I love this lip liner so much. I like to get it a little fill in. We're going to go in with 535 from Maybelline. Remember I said, I feel like I said in the last video that I was not going to use these anymore. <laughs> All right, I know it looks harsh, okay? I know it looks harsh. We're not done. And then I'm going to top it off with the gloss. The gloss changes a lot. Um, this one is just going to be MAC Gloss in See-Through. The gloss also kind of helps to kind of mesh everything together and make it more seamless. This is basically the lip that I wore the entire time in Vegas. Because I was trying to give like Jennifer Lopez vibes that whole time. Alright, let me brush my hair. So now that you can see my hair in full effect, should I keep the root or get rid of the root? I don't know. I will do an updated color care situation here and even talk about what I did for my purple hair also. Um... You can expect that soon because a lot of you have been asking. Just don't wash your hair. Dry shampoo. Life. So I enjoyed talking and chit-chatting with you guys. I haven't done a talk-through tutorial in so long because I just feel like this video is just going to be...
because I feel like I just ramble and I'm pretty sure this video is going to be so long, but it's okay because I've been gone for a minute. That's not happening. Again, it was not intentional. I was not trying to stay away from you guys. I want to be here with you guys. So expect to see me a lot more. And again, giveaway is happening. Mystery boxes. If you want to enter, just make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment. That's all you have to do. I'm probably going to pick the winners next week, um, and they will be listed in this video. So more details will be in the bottom bar and... Uh, that is it for me guys i hope you enjoyed i don't have anything else to tell you guys except i love you and i will see you guys in the next video